Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another signal processing tutorial. Today, we're going to cover partial fractions as we're going to be using them in a few future videos and I wanted to make sure that you had a good understanding of what it was so we didn't get caught up when we came to them. Okay, so what are partial fractions? Well, partial fractions simply state that if you have a fraction in the form of, say, 4s plus 1 divided by s plus 2 times s plus 4 that you can rewrite this in the form of a over s plus 2 plus b over s plus 4 okay so I don't expect you to take my word for it so why don't we just solve through this now to show that it can be done we'll set them equal to one another then we'll multiply through by s plus 2 times s plus 4 to remove the denominators on both sides on the left hand side this would give us 4s plus 1 and then on the right hand side we would have a the s plus 2 would cancel and then we'd be left with s plus 4 plus the b term where the s plus 4 would cancel and you'd be left with s plus 2 we can now expand these and collect the like terms which would give us as plus bs plus 4a plus 2b on the left hand side that remains unchanged so it's still 4s plus 1 now we can collect our s terms on the right hand side which would give us s and then inside the brackets a plus b plus 4a plus 2b our left hand side of the equation would remain unchanged so that's still 4s plus 1 and then now we can relate coefficients where we relate the s to the power of 1 term with the corresponding s to the power of 1 term likewise we can equate the s to the power of 0 term with our other s to the power of 0 term this will give us two equations which we can then use to solve for a and b let's do that now starting with our s to the power of 0 term we would have 4a plus 2b equals 1 likewise we could relate our s to the power of 1 coefficients which would give us a plus b equals 4 as there is a 4 on our s to the power of 1 term on the left hand side and a plus b on the right then we can use these equations to solve for both a and b we can do this by multiplying through our second equation by 2 which would give us 4a plus 2b equals 1 and then our second equation would be 2a plus 2b equals 8 we can then subtract the second equation from the first which would give us 2a plus 0b equals negative 7 then we can divide through by 2 which would give us a equals negative 7 on 2 we can then plug a equals negative 7 halves into our second equation and then solve for b let's do that now negative 7 halves plus b equals 4 we can then add 7 halves to both sides which would give us b equals 15 over 2 we can then use our original equation sub in our values and we've got our final answer we'll write our b term first which is simply 15 divided by 2 over s plus 4 plus negative 7 halves so it would become minus 7 over 2 divided by s plus 2 and we have our final answer so you might be thinking why are we doing this why are we going through the hassle of breaking down these fractions into smaller fractions well essentially some of the methods that we're going to be using in future videos involve Laplace transforms as well as Z transforms and both of these are much similar when you have standard equations like this and are very difficult to perform on equations as we started with so that's all for today guys Thanks for watching. I hope this was just a little bit of revision for you. If you had any problems with this at all, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.